God has a unique path laid out for each of us, and all we need to do is to follow it. Friends, this is Sister Noemi Vinoya of the Daughters of St. Paul, bringing to you today's reflection on the Gospel from the Gospel Power. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is it to you? follow me. So the rumor spread in the community that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, this is the disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. This epilogue to the Gospel of John may have been written to address an all-too-human tendency among early believers to compare Peter and the beloved disciple and to exalt one over against the other. Whereas both were witnesses, the well-known witness of Peter somehow overshadowed the more subdued witness of the beloved disciple especially later, when the word martyr came to be applied to Christians who were put to death for the sake of the faith. The epilogue presents both disciples as the risen Lord's gifts to the communities of believers appointed by Him to distinct ministries according to their varying temperaments and talents. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of good health and peace that we have enjoyed for so many years. As we find ourselves in this time of crisis today, we ask for your divine intervention and mercy to be upon each of us. Come and guide the minds of those working to discover a treatment to the COVID-19 virus. Grant them wisdom, knowledge, and clarity of mind so that all peoples will be free from the threat of this ailment. We also pray for the healthcare workers that are standing in the front line of this battle. Father, we thank you for their hearts of service, putting the needs of society before their own, generously responding to the cry of your people. We ask that you will grant them strength and protection as they give of themselves in selfless service. May you fill them with your Holy Spirit as they work to be your healing hands and feet. 
Father, we also surrender to you all those who have been afflicted with the virus. Grant them your healing grace, merciful Father, so that they may recover swiftly and continue to be witnesses of your love in their lives. Mother Mary, we ask for your intercession in this great time of need. Cover each of us with your blue mantle of protection, so that we may be preserved in good health, to continue to glorify your Son, Jesus Christ. We make this prayer through Christ our Savior and Redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music> 